Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to swatch the polishes of my recent mini haul. I've got them all laid out here. Um, the ones that I got from the D stash and a couple that I picked up. This one came from Walgreens and from Dollish Polish. So we're going to hop on into this. I've got a swatch wheel ready to go. And we're going to start off with this vampy mat. It's a red with little black flecks in it. And it's just insane pretty. And it is called Undead Red. And I'm really looking forward to using this one very soon. I saw this on Instagram and had to have it. And it does swatch really well. It's got a really great formula. It is going to definitely need two coats, at least on the swatch wheel. It might need three on the nail. I'm not sure because I haven't worn it yet. But we're going to do two today on the swatch wheel. And it has got this purple pink shimmer in it that's just calling my name. <laughs> and next is this one from Square Hue. I can't pronounce it, but it's from November 2014. So it's an old one. If you want this one, you would have to look for it in a D stash or something. And it goes on really nice. Of course, I've always really liked Square Hue polishes. It looks like it's pretty streaky, but their polishes level out really nice. And by the second coat, it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous polish. It's kind of a eggplant color, and it's got some shimmer in it. Ugh. Love, love in this shimmer. Having a love affair with shimmer here lately. This next one is from Maybelline Color Show, and it's from their Acid Wash Effect. And um, it's just a really unusual polish. I described it, I think, maybe better in my other video, but we're going to swatch it today. And right now I'm thinking, ooh, this is not, this is not doing so good. But I can rest assured you, it does build up very nicely in two coats. Just that nice baby blue with those matte white glitters in it. And this is from Arcan Lacquer. Trying to look at it. And it is Luna Madness. And it's a jelly, as you can see. It's going to take um, at least two, maybe three layer, three coats to layer it up and get it to you know, be opaque on its own but if you want to you can layer it over dark color and you won't have to use as many layers of it and this last one is exp exp I'm so tongue-tied every time I say this one Expo Expecto Patronum the girls having issues y'all that's one of my favorite things from the home movies all the movies is um, you know them and their spells and for the life of me, I can't say this one on film. I don't know why. So we're going to go back in and do the second coat of all of these beautiful polishes. This is so pretty. I'm telling you, it's going to be very soon. i got to have it on my nails. Oh, that shimmer's just singing. And here we go with the second coat of the square hue polish. Really, really wish I could make, say that. Bukowski? Namaste? I don't know. It's, it's, just, it's just one of those hard words for me. <laughs> so. And now we're headed on to Riptide. I don't think I said that earlier. I did tell you it was from Maybelline. It was from the acid wash effect, but this one's called Riptide. It's a very unusual polish. And for the second coat of Luna Madness from Arcane Lacquer. I used to not like jelly so much. They just freaked me out. I couldn't stand the visible nail line. But once I figured out you could build a lot of them up, you know, on their own, or you could layer them over other colors, then I kind of started having a love affair. And that one is gorgeous. I do believe it does need a third coat, though. And then Expecto Patronum. <laughs> Yay, I got it right. Final coat of it. 
it's just so pretty. Those little shiny glitters in there just make it. Just, just make it for me. I do love it. All them different sizes just look so cool. I really did like all of these. I am going to go ahead and do that third coat on this one here, Luna. It didn't, it does dry down and it brings the glitters to the top, but it's not super textured. I will, of course, put a top coat on it when I wear it because I, I just can't stand things getting caught up on my clothes or in my hair. It just, it just it's a buzz killer for me and I don't, I don't need nothing like that. But you can see this one looks really, really good on with that third coat. It just adds depth and it cleans up all those um, little see-through see spots. Just insane. So we've got Undead Red by Simple Colors. We've got The Unnameable by Square Hue. We've got Riptide. We have Luna Madness and Expecto Patronum. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave me your comments down below and let me know what you think about these. Which one's your favorite? I would love to hear from you. That is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.